good. Hello there. So it is Saturday. Um, it's Super Bowl weekend, so I am not really that much into the Super Bowl, but I did find a couple of new recipes to try tomorrow. Not doing too much, I'm just watching Southern Charm reunion right now. My uh, one guilty pleasure is um, Bravo. Is it Bravo? Yeah, right. Reality shows like The Housewives, Southern Charm, Vanderpump Rules, Summer House, all of those shows. Jack's actually napping right now, that's why I'm whispering. Because every day the, the cats wake him up early, so he's always tired. And I'm not. I'm actually, I think I'm about to have some uh, chocolate covered almonds. I bought them from Costco. <laughs> Which is probably not a good idea because it's like a huge container and chocolate covered almonds are just one of those things that if you like don't like you know portion them out if you start like eating them you'll just like eat way too many or I will. Here we are. Big container. Let's see there's 45 servings. Mix. Hey Dad, smile here on camera. Yeah, I might as well, because we're just, no, we're just going to tomorrow. Yeah. Can't have it sitting around any longer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank Betty Crocker for this cake. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday now. So we actually ended up doing our groceries last night at like 4.30 because um, it's snowing today and so we didn't know if it would be like, you know, not good driving conditions. I don't know if you can see, but it's been snowing for a couple hours. Not a lot. It's really sticking, but it's really pretty because they're nice big snowflakes. I made some almond flour pancakes this morning. Um, because I had almond flour from recipe last week and almond milk that I need to use up. Honestly, I didn't really like them. I think uh, I made like the batter too thick or something. I don't know. They were just a little too like grainy. Maybe it's just almond flour I have, but and like too almondy tasting. Um, I actually I, I really love the almond flour pancake mix from Simple Mills. I'm like that's what I usually use. We don't have any right now though. Recipe. He's on his ear and he he's got some water on his chin because he always gets water on his chin after he <laughs> drinks water. Say hello. He loves watching the snow. Um, now I'm making some blueberry muffins for the week. Um, just because I like to have like some sort of like pastry to eat in the morning or like as a mid-morning snack. I still have a lot of almond milk. I mean, I got it last week for a recipe and then I used some for the pancakes and I still have a good amount. So. This recipe that I am using uses like a cup of almond milk, so that's I use up most of it. I'm gonna make pretzels or try to make pretzels today. Um, I had a couple like pretzel recipes saved, and the one that I'm gonna use, I think I actually they're vegan, so they don't have any like eggs or anything in them. But they seem relatively easy. I mean, I kind of wanted to try making them, so I'm gonna do that this afternoon. Maybe make some guac because I have a bunch of avocados to use, and then we're gonna make chili tonight for dinner. Um, not, I guess, it's honestly probably not even considered chili because I don't know what makes chili chili, but <laughs> my mom used to make chili for the Super Bowl, but I mean, we like vegetarian chili with like beans and fake meat. I found a recipe that's just like vegetarian, doesn't have any like, you know, meat, meat substitute in it, which I thought was nice, um, but Jack doesn't really like beans, so I was just gonna use chickpeas instead of the beans, and then just like throw a couple of veggies and like some carrots and bell pepper and stuff. So it's probably more like a veggie soup, but I'm gonna call it chili. Yeah, and then I didn't make any like dessert recipes this weekend. I was going to, but then it was Thursday, Jack texted me that he got like Whole Foods stuff delivered and I was like, oh, I didn't know you were ordering stuff from Whole Foods. And he's like, yeah, I did it in my sleep. Uh, he said he had put stuff in his cart the night before and then he was up early in the morning because the cats woke him up and he ordered stuff because he needed like a couple things. He said he ordered some naughty things and I had to like wait to, until I got home to see what he made 
because he was like baking then like the afternoon after he was done working and he made funfetti cake. <laughs> we always like talk about like, you know, it's like good like boxed funfetti cake. <laughs> you couldn't find like actual funfetti cakes, so we just like got sprinkles and added them to you know, white cake mix we've been eating that for dessert for a few days and it's actually very good. So we have another um, gnat problem in the plants and I thought it was just this plant. So I've been watering this one with like the mosquito bits and I had like a couple of the little yellow traps in here, um, but they're still around. So I um, put a couple more of the little yellow traps out and I'm gonna water more of them with the mosquito bits. Um, the problem with these is if they get in the soil, they like, get moldy so I got like a little strainer to like strain the water um, I've just had these like soaking for like a day or so because um, they still come through here I thought they wouldn't in the watering can but yeah so it's just annoying to have to water and like be like picking out all the little bits out of the soil yeah I'm gonna because I have a couple of plants to water today so I'm gonna use this and hopefully uh, these gnats will be gone <laughs> Also, I got this little stool for this, our Christmas tree plant, <laughs> our um, Norfolk pine, because I had it like, it wouldn't fit on the second shelf because it's too tall. So I had it on the top shelf and it was just like huge and it looked like crazy out of place. Um, so I found this little plant stool from Serena and Lily, just like wood with um, like navy paint at the bottom. So we scooted the whole shelf over so that it has a little bit more space here so there's enough light for it and everything. So hopefully, that works out. Looks better now, I think. <laughs> Some of these plants are like out of control, this one. It's like grown so much since I got it. And this one too, this one was a lot smaller. I got this one like over the summer. And then there's this one that uh, we tried keeping out in the living room and Hazelnut uh, bit it up. So there's like little spots where he like bit it. Same thing with this one. This was the other one we tried keeping out there and he chewed it and it was like, I feel like they got kind of traumatized from him biting them. So I've been keeping them in here. And then this boy, oh my God. This one, these are newer like stems. They're like, I think it looks funny cause they're like taller and they're like brighter green and they're like shooting up out of the middle. But yeah, this one's grown a fair amount since I got it. before you bake them. Oh, yeah. Like you like drop them in a boiling water for a sec. Yeah. Well, it's like baking soda and boiling water. Baking soda bath. Cover with plastic wrap, set aside in a warm spot for 60 to 90 minutes until almost doubled. Okay. It looks uh, like a poorly shaped pretzel. Try it with the Frio. 